Hello, friends, family, world. Luke here with another video. For those of you unfamiliar with our channel, my husband Tyler and I make weekly travel videos documenting our experiences since moving from North America to the UK. This video is part two of our four-part Venice series, so if you haven't checked out part one yet, be sure to check that out. In today's video, I'm gonna focus on a day trip that we made from Venice to the islands of Murano, Burano, and Torcello. Let's dive right in. We got up early and headed to the Ospedale Vaporetto station, where we boarded a water taxi to the island of Murano. Murano's claim to fame is their exceptional skill in glass blowing and glass sculptures. When we arrived, we walked past the Basilica of St. Mary and St. Donatus, which is a beautiful 7th century church. Another beautiful church on the island is the Chiesa di Santa Maria degli Angeli. Similar to Venice, Murano has a number of picturesque bridges that traverse across the island, including one that overlooks the Canale Grande di Murano. We then made our way to one of the many glass blowing workshops in Murano where you can pay a small fee to watch a live demonstration. The amount of skill and craftsmanship that these artists demonstrate is really a delight to see. We continue to learn and better appreciate the art of glass making by visiting the Murano Museo del Vetro, which translates to the Murano Museum of Glass. This museum goes through the history of the art form while also showcasing some of its most impressive pieces. Once finished, we made our way back to the Vaporetto station and headed to our next destination, which is the island of Torcello. Torcello has a much more rural, smaller town feel to it than the other islands of Murano and Burano. Our first stop was to the 11th century Church of Santa Maria Assunta, also known as the Torcello Basilica. It's considered one of the most ancient religious edifices in the Veneto region. In addition to the inside of the church, we paid a small fee to access the bell tower, which we found was well worth it for the views that you get from the top. We enjoyed the slower pace around here a bit longer before we proceeded back to the Vaporetto station to reach our final island of the day, the island of Burano. Burano was by far our favorite island of the three that we visited for the day. This island's claims to fame are its lace work as well as the vibrantly colored houses that are scattered all around the island. Once you make it to the center of the island, there's plenty to choose from in terms of restaurants, shops, and lively atmosphere. We enjoyed some espresso at Girani Cafe Venezia, allowing time to savor our surroundings and do a bit of people watching. There's really no set tour, itinerary, or site that we went on while on this island, and that was really half the fun of it. We really just enjoyed wandering around, appreciating the beautiful bridges and buildings that we encountered along our route. It's also nice because with its many bridges, it does have its similarities with Venice, but with far fewer crowds to contend with. 
All right, guys, that is it for our video on Venice part two. If you haven't already, be sure to give this video a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to see more content like this, stay tuned every Thursday when I post a new video. Hope to see you soon. Bye.